Welcome to the second lesson of the MAUD program. Still look at Luterotti on the console. Okay, now we have we start the MAUD program and we just uh, see uh, how to use it for uh, normally quantitative phase analysis or uh, refinement. So first, uh, uh, from the last uh, uh, lesson, we actually have to reset uh, some uh, uh, preference here, so not black and white. Okay, then so we have uh, back uh, what we needed. Okay, maybe you, I forgot. No, everything. Okay. Okay, now if I want to start a new analysis here, I just uh, uh, check the box here. Actually, the mod program is organized in the following way. Here you have a data set in, or a multiple data set if you work with the one sample and pattern collected on different instruments. So let's say if you work with only one instrument, one pattern, then it's much more simple. But uh, the data file should go inside the data set where the instrument is defined and where you load uh, your data file. Actually, let's say this one, okay, if I want to change the name of the data set, okay, here, I can double click and say, for example, we will start with the classical mild example, uh, a zirconia, the zirconia lumina phase analysis. So this is, uh, uh, let's say, yes, corundum. Corundum Zirconia Brackventrano. That is it. Oh, well, let's say put uh, Okay, now uh, this example actually is uh, there is a data file you can find in the directory where you extracted uh, on the first run all the MAUD file, uh, example, database, etc. So we start, uh, this is our uh, data file, okay? Here is uh, ending in dot dot, so it uh, has a particular uh, format. So I can uh, drag and drop uh, from here to my program here uh, to load uh, it. Yes, you see here? There is a blue line over here indicate that he got the data file. So here is load. Or otherwise, you just can go here and use load data file. Okay. Or if you work with multiple data file, then better to edit the data set. So to edit the data set, you uh, select it. He is already selected here. And then you can press this shortcut here, edit the selected object, you see that correspond also to go here, edit and edit object. So let's use the shortcut that is much quicker. Okay, under data file here, there is the list of all data file you load for the analysis. There is only one here. You can browse and load also from here. Okay, so here is one spectrum. We can see also the spectrum from here. Here it is, okay. And uh, if you want to know what uh, data file format MAUD support, uh, you can just press the help button over here, and then here you see a list of all uh, data files supported by MAUD. MAUD recognizes the data file based on the extension. So the extension should match exactly the format as defined by MAUD. Unluckily, uh, uh, some uh, different format have the same extension, so I arbitrarily decided in MAUD which extension correspond to which format. For example, you can see some of these, uh, like the dot data we loaded is this Venezia data file, okay, and uh, there are some uh, uh, standard, the XY, the two column data file, or PRN, uh, 
Maud can recognize also Philips data file, the old uh, EDF, but also the new, uh, for example, uh, HTML, XLTML data file from Analytica, and also Broker. Uh, what is the Broker? Actually, I forgot. It should be uh, somewhere here. Okay, so there is the Broker, Citronic, uh, or uh, DBWS, uh, full prof data file, Jesus, Enel. Okay, so there are a lot uh, different. If you have uh, one format, not a uh, Siemens data file, it's just a broker. Okay, if you have uh, one format that MAUD doesn't recognize and you want to be inserted in MAUD, then you can just send to me, to the author, and it's easy to insert also. So let's progress. So here is our data file. Okay, under general, there is here is defined the instrument. So the instrument you can also store in a database or import instrument from a database. Or we just uh, see here this is a diffraction instrument and we edit uh, just to see how it is organized. So in this case, the data file was collected with a Bragg-Brentano. Uh, Rigaku instrument, okay, here. So if you want, you can change also Rigaku. This was a Rigaku D3 Max, if I remember correctly. Okay, so uh, it doesn't need any intensity calibration, angular calibration, because the data file is already in 2 theta. The geometry is bright Brentano. There are some options. Well, you can put, okay, the radius of this one was 183 millimeter, okay, and the second arm was having a monochromator, the angle, uh, let's see if I remember it, uh, was something around, uh, is the graphite uh, monochromator, something around uh, 24 degree, okay. It doesn't matter, it only changes a little bit uh, the Lorentz polarization uh, factor. Okay, so the measurement, this is much more important. The measurement was a theta to theta, and the, and the source is an X-ray tube, or you can, if you choose the X-ray tube, then uh, by default, okay, you can have the standard tube here. So it's just copper cap alpha, or you can decide to change it and say x-ray or singleton and then you add the, the line cap alpha one two and define them you can also refine them okay so scintillation detector etc in reality okay we don't need to modify nothing because uh, here uh, in the instrument broaden it is was already set for uh, at this instrument okay and uh, there will be another lesson showing how to uh, calibrate uh, this instrument to measure the instrument broadening defined in mount. Okay, now we only want to change maybe the background. So by default, uh, here we have three coefficient and maybe because we have a large pattern here, you see more than 120, maybe we just uh, choose to use a background, polynomial background by five degrees. Uh, four degrees, sorry, five coefficient. Okay, the rest we leave uh, as it is. So we have a data file, and we have just modified the background. So actually, 